Hello everyone, it's Chase Chapel, your favorite digital marketer here, and we're going to be going over the nine best tools for social media marketing in 2022. So without further ado, let's jump into this to go over those nine tools. <laughs> These are the exact tools that we use at our agency, Chapel Digital Marketing, where we deploy tens of millions of dollars every single year at our agency on Facebook, TikTok, and Google Ads. And I got a quick announcement for you. Comment down below your biggest goal for 2022, and for every 100 comments, I'll pick one winner for my brand new TikTok Influencer course that is releasing in February. So go comment down below your biggest goal for 2022, and we will select a winner. In that course, it's some of the learnings that I've gained from having over 120,000 followers on how to actually get there and generate results in business from gaining clients from that, but also from you know all of the coaching that we've done with influencers and landing brand deals. And I'm gonna be able to show you exactly how we scaled from going from zero followers all the way to 120,000 plus followers in less than one year. And the first one that we actually use is Slack. And Slack is an internal communication tool that we use at our agency. We build out different Slack channels for you know each of our clients. Every single time we onboard a client, we have a specific channel dedicated to them where we actually have all of the information about that client when we've onboarded them. And that's where we actually assign our team. So all of our team members are on Slack. That's where we communicate on a day-to-day -day basis. Email, we have email threads with our clients, but in Slack specifically is where we do all of our internal communication. This is where we make company announcements. This is where you know we actually go over client accounts in the actual Slack channel. We share information, we share files, because there's a lot of integration with Slack specifically that you can connect. And what's really cool about Slack is if we want to hop on a meeting with somebody who's not in the office, we can quite literally get into Slack and do a command where we say slash Zoom, and that allows us to automatically start a meeting with the other individual in our Slack channel, which is super cool, it's super intuitive, and very easy to use. The best part about Slack is it's entirely for free. And so highly recommend to use it for your internal communication. It's gonna make things much more simple for you and allow you to stay a lot more organized. And number two is Webflow. Webflow is an all-in-one tool for designing websites. We use this to design our own websites and businesses that we launch. We use it for our agency. It's an amazing tool to be able to actually create anything you could actually imagine in a website. It's unbelievable how many things you can actually do on Webflow, which is pretty incredible. You know, we're able to build out forms, like we don't have to use softwares like ClickFunnels to actually have a funnel. Like we can build funnels, make them super customizable, it can look amazing as well, and there's unlimited opportunity for ways to change things. If we wanna you know, rearrange something, move an image, there's no boundaries to what you can do on Webflow, which is why it's such an amazing tool. You know, So many individuals use this, and you know, there is a bit of a learning curve when actually learning how to use Webflow, but the best part is it's the closest thing you can do to actually having clean code and being able to design something that is very impactful and you can communicate very well through designing a Webflow website. There's no limits. It's entirely creative. You're going to stand out from the crowd. You're not going to look like a temp templated website like everyone else out there in the space because, you know, starting an agency is very competitive. And the one thing that you want to pay attention to is ways that you can actually be different. And the biggest way to do that is by having, you know, a website that is much more, you know, than just the status quo. So you want to be able to represent yourself very well as an agency because it's going to allow you to attract bigger clients and brands that are going to take you a lot more seriously if you have the right information on your site, if you're able to communicate it in a way that actually generates you know, actual leads and individuals reaching out to you. And once they see that you care a lot about your own brand, they're going to feel you know, that you're going to value their brand as well. But you know, as a big brand, to see that you don't take care of your own agency branding and website, you know, that's not going to really attract larger brands and clients because if you're not willing to do that for yourself, how are you going to be willing to do it for your client? So these are the things that represent you and it's super important that you make sure that you, you know, have a tool that actually gives you the capabilities to make a lot of changes. You know, some of the biggest companies in the world use Webflow and even as a Shopify e-commerce site, if you were to set that up, you could actually overlay, you know, Webflow's UI so that way you can have a beautiful e-commerce branded site, which is pretty incredible and you can still leverage Shopify's backend.
So highly recommend Webflow if you're actually looking to, you know, be able to make a lot of changes and not have to be limited by what it is that you can actually design. And number three is Zoom. We use Zoom for all of our client meetings. We use it for internal meetings. The best thing about Zoom is we can set it to automatically record. So we're able to store all of our recordings in a cloud where we can access them. You know, that way when we're actually speaking with clients, it's automatically recording and taking those notes for us. So whenever we actually are finished with the call, we can play it back to specific parts to remember and know exactly what we were going over with that client. So that way everyone's always on the same page. And those files are shared with our team internally. So that way we can ensure that everyone is on the same page as well if somebody missed a meeting. And not only that with Zoom, it's super universal. You know, you can join from a lot of different countries and it's very easy. Lots of clients already have Zoom and use it. So, you know, it's something that people can join very quickly and it's just an all around amazing tool. And number four is Calendly. We use Calendly to schedule meetings with our clients on a monthly basis, or if we're trying to set up a time to speak with someone or they're booking into our website, we'll provide them our Calendly link. And Calendly is a way for individuals to actually schedule on our calendar. So that way we're not having to go back and forth trying to come up with a time that works best for both parties because that you know decreases the actual productivity of us being able to just set up a call. So what Calendly is great for is sending them an actual Calendly link so they can automatically book in with your calendar. The great part is it will sync with the calendar you use. So if you use Google Calendar, it will check to see if you have times available and you can adjust those times you know, that are best fitted for your schedule. So that way people can automatically book in with you. And the best part is it provides all of the timeframes that you're actually available on. And even if you set this up to where you charge for paid consult calls, you can actually set it up to require payment and you can set the exact time that the meeting will be running for. That way you always stay organized and you're constantly being able to set up calls with potential clients and current clients to keep things on schedule and always moving. And number five is Surge IO, which is one of my favorite tools to use because it's an all-in-one tracking tool, being able to actually track sales from both the Facebook ads and Shopify side allowing you to beat iOS 14 and 15 again. So that way you can actually keep track of all of the purchases, know exactly where your customers are actually coming from. This allows you to attribute results to your actual Facebook ads. So if you've experienced the aftermath of iOS 14 and 15 and have saw that your tracking has actually decreased or your performance have gone down, or this time last year you were producing better results, this is going to allow you to actually fix that by you being able to actually sign up with Surge and once you're signed up, you're able to go into your Surge account and you can actually see where the purchases are coming from once you've actually set up the tracking. So as you can see, literally today, you know, Facebook has tracked a purchase, but so is Surge. But the difference is you don't know who that individual is that has actually purchased from your Facebook ads, whereas Surge will actually tell you who that person is. So if we click on this, we can actually see who the individual is. We can go to their actual profile and see exactly how many page views they visited how many purchases they made, how much it cost us to spend to acquire that customer, their first visit in the full customer journey, allowing you to better optimize your Facebook ad campaigns. The best part about Surge is they're always coming out with new integrations and their tracking is superior to a lot of other platforms. So if you're running Facebook ads and have a client that's on Shopify or if you have a Shopify site, you gotta test Surge IO. Number six is Active Campaign. We use Active Campaign for all of our email marketing. We set it up for automation. So when people go to our website, they opt into a list, or if we're giving them free value, where we send out you know uh, weekly trainings on how to optimize Facebook ads, how to get better at TikTok ads, how to you know structure an agency. These are the things that we're sharing with our list. And so once people are actually on that, we have automations and workflows where they actually send out emails providing this value to you know people that are actually on our list. So Active Campaign is a perfect email marketing tool that you can actually use to track these things and you can keep track of all of the growth of your actual list. You can see how much revenue you're making from your actual list. You can keep track of all of the data, store you know this information in here too. And if you're actually setting it up to where you have deals, you can actually create you know different automations to where when an individual opts in on your site, they're in a specific list. And then whenever they actually schedule a call, they move to another other list and different automations happen there, different emails, which allows you to get more value 
deliver to the actual potential customer and client, as well as more value for you because you're able to automatically segment these things and be a better marketer, allowing you to drive much higher you know, returns and get much better delivery with your actual email marketing campaigns. But not only that, it can also double as a CRM where you actually have your deals. So if you have a sales team that's a part of your agency, then you can actually have you know, a deal structure where it's set up, it automatically routes to Calendly. So Active Campaign not only connects to Webflow, it connects to Calendly, which allows you to have all of these things connected. Calendly connects to Zoom, and you can also have notifications every single time somebody opts into your list or submits a form, it sends a notification in a specific Slack channel. Now you're starting to see how this ecosystem actually works all together, how each of these softwares and tools are being connected to overall drive a consistent you know, flow throughout your agency, making it much more organized. But not only that, you know, the main benefit of being able to connect all these things is actually having systems in place. You know, businesses scale based off of systems and systems are only as good as the people who implement them. So the more precise you are actually implementing these systems, the better your result. And that's actually one of the primary reasons we have an agency mastermind program where we actually structure and go into great detail on how to set up each of these individual softwares and how to grow your agency from not only 40K monthly, but all the way to 100K plus months and show you exactly how we were able to achieve this by using these same tools and the actual strategies we have in place to deliver amazing results for our clients. And number seven is ConvertFlow. ConvertFlow is an all-in-one platform for actually being able to convert visitors on your website. So this is where you actually can use their forms. You can implement the actual Facebook pixel, Google Analytics, and connect this to ActiveCampaign as well. This is where when somebody opts in, you can capture their email, send it into ActiveCampaign, which automatically subscribes them to your list, which they're then redirected to book a call with you, which is your Calendly. And then from Calendly, they join the Zoom call, so all of these tools are starting to fully connect here. And with ConvertFlow, you have lots of options. You can increase your conversion rates by implementing forms on your site. You can actually have pop-ups if somebody is about to exit your agency site. You can have surveys to ask spe specific questions around what it is that they offer, find out more information about these potential prospects so that way you can qualify them as a potential client, giving you more information so that way you know exactly what you need in order to better service that potential prospect. That way, the more information you get, the better the value it becomes. And then you can also structure different things like messages. If you want to actually have people come to your site and you need to answer specific questions based off of support, you can have these things. So we use this, you know, not only from a hiring standpoint, but also to capture lead information and also provide a better experience for our clients by gathering all the intel that we need to better service them. Number eight is Process Street. This is where we build out all of our systems and automations and workflows for the procedures that we take at our agency. We have a procedure for onboarding clients. This is where we build it. We go through all of the steps that we actually have with our clients and it's a checklist. You actually complete this checklist every single time we're onboarding a new client. That way we're always doing the same things over and over again. It allows us to compile the same information from every client, getting everything on an accurate standpoint so we know exactly what is going on with every single individual who's coming through our onboarding. And it also ensures that our team is following the exact same protocols every single time. So that way there's no variation in how something is actually done once the system is in place. This ensures that we can handle scale. So once you're gaining 10, 20, 30 clients a month, this is going to allow you to constantly be bringing on new hires and then automatically adopt the systems you use, giving you much more control over being able to scale much easier without having to train every single person over and over again. You just plug them into the system and they'll automatically know how to use it based off of the rules that you already have set in place, making it not only easy for a new individual to come in and not feel overwhelmed, but also makes it easier on your staff and your actual clients because they all know exactly what the steps are because they're so de detailed and outlined here through Process Street. We use this tool for not only hiring, but onboarding individuals on different services and all the way through actually going over, you know, ways to indoctrinate themselves in our actual agency once they are, you know, a team member. And number nine, it's a simple tool. All of you probably know it, but it's Google Drive. And believe it or not, this is a super impactful tool because we use it with G Suite. 
which allows you to actually have you know a branded email so that way it actually comes from your agency when you're sending emails but you can also store files here you can share them with your team keep folders organized this integrates very nicely with slack so that way whenever you know you actually have something that you completed in drive or you've uploaded content from your actual agency into drive you can literally do a command in slack and automatically pull that file in making it so much easier and when clients email you actual access to things you can have them share it directly through drive and the best part is it's free and if you sign up for the G Suite version it's going to give you a lot more storage and makes things so much simpler to share between, between your teams at your agency so all around it's a super easy tool to use and you know it's not going anywhere because it's a Google company all right guys so there you have it the nine best tools to use for social media marketing with your agency in 2022 and if you have any questions feel free to DM me at real chase chapel the word YouTube, so that way I can personally reach back out to you. So I hope you enjoyed another fun video. Please make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and comment because it really does help the algorithm. And once again, it's your favorite digital marketer here, Chase Chapel, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers and bye, y'all.